Today we are heading downtown to our uh, data center and we're going to be hanging some more Tarana equipment on the roof of it. So we're just out at our warehouse Easter Regina here and we're going to prep the gear and make sure it's all ready to go and then haul it downtown to get it hung. We uh, need to hang this Tarana BN. It's the tower radio side of things. Um, customers connect to this. Um, so this is the form factor of it. It's pretty small. It's actually, it's actually a lot smaller than, uh, than what you'd think goes on a tower. Um, there, it's just packed full of computing power and I forget how many antennas, but I think there's a whole stack of antennas in here that talk to the, the uh, end customers. And then on the top, we got our power, three data connections, management and uh, and just some status lights so that's that's the tower side radio so we're gonna be hanging that and then running all the cabling for it which include um, the power cables which is it these are all all these radios are DC powered so we have uh, DC power supplies that go in the the cabinet um, and this is what powers the antenna and radio and then we run for data connection to the antenna itself there's these pre-made uh, fiber cables with Harding connectors that just clip straight in the bottom. And once we plug it all in, should be good to go. So what is this doing for the network as a whole? Like, why are you guys putting this up? We're putting this up because it's latest technology and wireless to the home internet. And it's super high capacity. We can get up to five, 600 megabits a second to a home with this. So we're basically upgrading our towers. Um, so this is replacing old technology and we're, we're upgrading this to be able to deliver the fastest speed in Saskatchewan. Uh, I have, there's ethernet run to that pole for the one antenna that's up there. Um, so we can either run it into a patch box and then use this for data to that. If we don't use that, we gotta run this fiber from the rack out. This would definitely be a lot easier. Oh, that's a fiber to ethernet converter. No, this is just a Harding ethernet. Oh, that's just ethernet, I see. So there's that option. I'm just gonna take both and then we can figure it out. But. So if you run that, do you need power separate still? Yeah, that's not PoE. Oh, okay. And then I have a cable for the power supply. Mm -hmm. We'll take slings just for safety. I don't know, do we want to take a, a rope with a pulley to haul it up there or just hand it up? It's going right at the top of the pole so we can't like, we can't hoist it to exactly where we need it anyways. Well, you can hook a beaner on the top of the pole. And... So we need number six ground wire, the crimping tool, the sling and, and ropes, and that should be it. Okay. Let's load it up. The power supply will go on a DIN rail mount. And I think we have DIN rail already in that rack because I have one of those power supplies in there already. Yeah. Is there enough DIN rail? I don't know if there, I think it. I think I spanned it across the the whole rack, but I also don't know if there's room for it. So I can't we, we may not power it up if. I remember looking at it last time we were there. We could just bring a piece. A small, a small one, or do we have it somewhere? Is it I think there's some in the corner over here. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go. So we're here on the, the rooftop of our data center here. Um, this is where pretty much all of our towers all run back to. It's the main head end of our network. And that's where we feed our towers outside of the city with wireless connections um, to distribute to our customers. So up here we have our primary backhauls. 
um, that are licensed radio links between here and the towers, as well as a handful of sector antennas that actually connect in customers that are within the vicinity of the city uh, to get them internet. Oh, it's a lot of ice up here. I don't think there's enough room up there for that thing, even if we drop that down. If we put this pipe all the way up, you'd probably have enough room, but that's a pain in the ass. I don't think we could slide that pole up enough to make enough room to put both on this. Not both, no. One, yeah. Right, we could move it. What, that one? We could put it here. I, uh... Oh, it's, it's like easily wide open. Yeah. We'd have to take it down to move it though. If the cable is free, which it is. Yeah, it is. We can cut the zips. I can move it over here. It wouldn't even disconnect. I could do it without disconnecting it. Still have to slide that pole up. Yeah, we could do that. No, I think with the amount we dropped that back all down, we'll have enough room here. I bet not. It's also icy as shit. Here. Like there's hardly any room there. What is there? How many inches below that current antenna is there? Six. Really? Maybe five. Like to the top of this, the back hole? Yeah. Uh, it might fit. Well, past oh, no. your cable connections are gonna be like right on top of that. Yeah, I don't think it'll stick out far enough. <clears throat> I think we'll be okay. Uh, pass me some cutters up here. I'll cut all these zip ties. This one here. So that bottom one. We're gonna have to redo it for both of them, I think. Uh, do you have the zip ties or where did we put those? Yeah, give me a bundle for Zach here. Well, the problem is I didn't check this before we decided to put it up. And uh, the antenna I thought we were taking down, that top one actually has clients connected to it. So we're gonna move it to another pole, which luckily there's enough room, and then we're gonna put the new antenna where that was. That's what we're doing.